Hello, hello, and welcome back to TGTV, and more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to D Class. Today is a very exciting video and a long overdue video because today we are catching up with my Porsche 912. I have had many comments, many messages asking where on earth is my 912 because you may remember episode one here from D-Class, I took the car down here to get the interior done many, many months ago. Now, I've been an extraordinarily busy bee and I've just not been able to get down here to film an update episode with it. So, much to the guy's relief here, I have turned up to film with the car and update you all what has been going on because they've been busy bees here and they've done some amazing work. I've actually just gone and checked it out before starting my intro here and I'm over the moon. So we're gonna go and have a little look at it. We're gonna go and speak to Dave and we're gonna go and have a little lowdown of what they've been up to because their work has been amazing and I cannot wait to show you this. So I've come in my Range Rover. For those that have not seen my Range Rover specking video, that is now live. I've ordered the new Range Rover and that is on the channel, but don't go and watch that yet because we've got some very exciting 912 related updates. So let's go. Here we go then, here she is. It's actually quite emotional. I haven't seen this car in literally months. And in my usual style, I'm interrupting people in their workplace doing things at school. Hello, mate. How are you doing? Yeah, good, thank you nice to much. see you. And you, and you. I've actually already told them we've just met. We've, I've, I've already been here and poked around the car, so we can't pretend we've only just uh, yeah, seen her. Anyway, right. The car is here. here we you are. guys have been very busy. You've yes. done lots of cool work. Yes. Uh, I think you're best qualified to talk through what has gone on with the car. Also, very nice to see you since Modball Classic. Absolutely. Have you recovered? It's very, yeah, just about now. <laughs> very fun time. Very fun, very fun. Very fun. It's very civilized. Yeah. Very civilized affair. Anyway, right. The car then, I can see it's all changing there. Yeah, so obviously in your absence, um, yep. um, uh, we have, uh, as most people would have seen, we've been getting on with stripping the vehicle out and we've actually got to the side of trimming on it now. Uh, the whole back end of the car is now pretty much near where we want it to be and all of the car. So now that we've started to move on and go forward, obviously between yourself and myself, See, we're all being very busy. We finally got you down today yep. to show you through everything that we've uh, we've done on the inside. Cool. So Max is just in there fitting up the uh, self um, rear door cappings. Um, so yeah, like to show you through. Uh, so the interior is now all completely carpeted uh, throughout. As discussed, we've gone with the square box weave carpet uh, right to the era when this car was made. We finished it off with some nice uh, green leather uh, vintage binding um, we've even made some nice little housing areas that cover up some uh, electric modern day electricals that are in the car and one of the things that we discussed at the time was that we were going to use the distressed leather yep which we're really happy to show you with everything we've done in the rear and not only did we just use a distressed leather we've actually lasered into the leather uh, an original houndstooth finish like to what Porsche had like normally doing cloth but we've actually managed to make it look exactly so in in this vintage leather that's really clever it looks like fabric but obviously that's going to be pretty much tear proof and absolutely. a lot more durable as well absolutely and this so for for the benefit of the viewers at home this is all brand new this hot everything you can see here absolutely is everything. completely brand new but what we opted for if you missed the first episode of this we opted for this distressed kind of uh, patterned leather which i just think suits the ear of the car a lot better i didn't want it all shiny and you guys actually advised that you know it's probably best not to do something that was all kind of glossy and uh, shiny and horrible so um it looks unbelievable it looks original but it also just looks so smart and we've got some news regarding the headliner as well that's going to be improved um, it's not actually too bad. It's not so saggy. There's some work that's going to be done on that. I don't think it's going to be too drastic, is it? No, not until you decide whether you get to the point you're going to repaint it or we can only get so many areas because the glass ideally needs to be out so yep. we can get some proper tension. We will just tuck a bit in and steam a bit where we can. I don't think it's too bad though, to be fair. It's a little it's bit mucky, terrible, but it's actually yeah. not, it's not sagging all over the gaff, so I'm no, not, too, no. not too petty about that. Right, so. That's that then. Max is working away here. I'm so sorry, mate. Barging in. So you're here. You came down today. So it's just discuss over some of the electricals and the bits and pieces. What we're going to do with the dash, which you know, we've now finalised exactly uh, with what we're going to be doing there and some, you know, some changes. It's going to be a surprise because the car had this kind of aluminium plate across there, which was actually uh, Mickey Mouse to put it in a technical format. So it wasn't actually an original bit there. So we're going to do something fun with that. But I'm going to reveal that when the car gets collected. So we're not going to be doing a. Uh, 
too much of a reveal just now on that but also it's interesting they've got the speaker under there there will be some audio stuff that uh, whether or not it's done here uh, we don't know at this point but there's going to be some exciting stuff coming there as well i really enjoy these little little booties in green here and the gear knob as well, uh, sorry, the handbrake yeah, is going we'll, to be replaced we'll as well. Because yeah, it's a bit of a turd, actually. Um, yeah. So, so the door cards, door cards um, then. you can see there, we have trimmed all of those. So they're about to be fitted on now. We've trimmed all of the door handles as well. Elasticated pockets, like what they originally would have had as well. They are mega. And they just look original, so good. If anyone saw them before in the previous episode, these things were like a wizard sleeve, I think I referred to them as. They were billowing all over the calf, and now they're looking very taut and ready to store my belongings when I'm driving along the King's Road staring out the window. Very, very good stuff. Right then, for those that are really, really interested, I just want to show the attention to detail because I don't think it's come across properly yet in the video how amazing these guys are at what they do. So this is the original Porsche bubble felt underneath the carpets that's something that to be honest with you i didn't know had existed and actually i just want to show you it's got new floors in so early early on with this car i had to replace the floors almost straight away because it was going to turn into a flintstones car but they've also uh, included this little shoulder just to go over the electronics there um so it is looking really really good not only above the surface but beneath the surface as well so they've actually custom fabric fabricated some aluminium bits here um those are original parts underneath that shoulder there which they've repaired and this whole back shelf over here is custom made and they've got new sound felt under there as well. So it doesn't just look good, it's structurally sound and it will also be a very, very nice place to sit as well. I'm over the moon with this, it just looks unbelievable. And before I actually really disappear, I just want to point something out that I'm going to do to the car, which I think is going to be really cool. I'm going to have my Porsche Club Italia badge, the badge that came on the car when I first got it, that is going to go back onto the dash there and we're going to be doing some cool stuff with the seats in the car as well so the original seats are going to be getting a makeover thanks to the guys here at d class they're going to be doing something really interesting with them so i'm going to catch up with them in due course but it's literally just the dash some electronics i'm going to do some audio stuff as well i think i'm going to order the porsche classic head unit to go in there as well and do all the audio so it's going to be a really nice place to sit but I'm going to keep the patina on the outside of the car because there's paint cracks, there's bubbles, there's all sorts of things all over the car. But now I know it's structurally sound, the engine's rebuilt, the audio's going to be done and the full interior's done. It's going to be a really, really cool place to sit. I just love the scruffy vibe on the outside. We will be fixing that next year or later this year with Rint, I believe. It's going to go through a full bare metal resto at Rint at some point because I don't think it's going to last forever in its current state. But for the meantime, when this comes back, when it's all done, I'm just going to enjoy it and I'm just going to bat it around the place, go to some meets, hopefully do a road trip, <laughs> feeling brave, hopefully do a road trip to Germany. But above all else, I just can't wait. And the values of these things, it's horrible to talk about it, but the values of these things have gone nuts. In a recent video uh, with Mr. Lee Sibley on the Nineworks channel, um, the 912 and Crow GTs were actually both cited as two examples of cars that have gone through the roof in value in the past 18 months. So, uh, but well on it again, almost by accident really. Anyway, so that then concludes this little update with the 912. I just want to say actually something that I'm aiming to do with this car and a lot of my other cars, I'm going to add a climate positive badge to the car. I'm going to put it in the windscreen. Some of you will have seen climate positive popping around on Instagram. What climate positive will do, they'll actually remove your car's carbon footprint. Not only that, but they'll actually add an extra 25% on top. So not only will your car be carbon neutral, but it will be climate positive. How this is all worked out is available on the website with some very clever calculations. And actually your badge, buying your badge, will support emissions reduction programs all over the world. Again, details of which are available on the website. It's a really cost-effective way and cool way of getting that done and actually giving something a little bit back. So I'm going to be updating all my fleet, or most of my fleet anyway, to have Climate Positive Badge in it. So I've actually just been told by my courier that mine have just arrived at my house. So I will be adding this to the windscreen when I come back to collect this car and I will be adding it to my GT3 RS and a couple of my other cars as well. So that is a really cool scheme. I'm actually gonna leave the details to that 
below the video to go and check out but they're a really cool bunch and they're doing amazing things so please do go and check that out and actually get involved and i look forward to seeing as many of you as possible with your climate positive badges on your cars from myself and my 912 thank you so much for watching make sure you check out d-class's channel because there's a full in-depth update of how they've done a lot of the stuff behind the scenes here some real nitty-gritty and the real clever stuff behind what goes on here at d-class not just with this car but also everything else they're doing they're an amazing amazing bunch they've been in the game decades and they are unbelievable with this stuff so make sure you go and check those guys out i will leave the link to their video below this one and of course i will leave the link to the climate positive badge which you should all get and put in your gas guzzling cars as soon as you can. For now, thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe, blah, 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 and I'll see you very soon. Bye.